News was what he wanted to photograph, and with the colonial powers in retreat across Africa, it was happening all around him. He was a stubborn, obstinate, determined guy. For 28 days, he was beaten senseless, tortured, and interrogated. For him, there was no impossible. Anything could be done. If you want to live in the river, you've got to make friends with the crocodile. This is what I mean was. The story of a man who believed in his work and overcame every obstacle to carry it out. When I got out of the hospital, I tried to get back to the work that I loved. What he managed to do was penetrate through all those haunting looks that were in people's eyes. Your father, for the first time in his life, closed his office door and he went. How long after takeoff did, uh, did the hijackers make their move? 15 minutes. I saw uh, Mohammed Amin come out twice the uh, passenger compartment in economy class and uh, talk to, to some of us to stand up against uh, the hijackers. Mohammed Amin is dearly, dearly missed for what we know he could have brought to us. My name is Salim Amin, the son of world famous photojournalist Mohammed Amin. On a journey spanning a decade, I've retraced my father's footsteps, talked to his friends and colleagues, and unlocked the secrets of the man who moved the world. Together with director Roger Mills, we have created a portrait of this legendary photojournalist, and in the process, discovered the father I never knew. And I'll be telling it as it was, warts and all. I hope you'll join me on my journey.